patient, so fine. I am in the intercostal space, seventh intercostal space, and sixth intercostal space. I will be scanning in the line of uh, the intercostal space to get the called better with liver and portal vein and diaphragm. This is the gold medal. This tubular structure is the portal vein. This is the liver. My grading will be that it is fatty. In between the in the lumen of the gold medal you see ecogenic areas giving posterior shadow. This is the largest of them. And these are few tiny calculi. Now, this is the calculus. This is the calculus. Here lies the calculus. If you see a tubular structure, <coughs> this is the common visor. This one. The point in this segment study is to make you aware of one thing that okay the fundus we are seeing fine and uh, let me first of all let you know that these bubble gases these are bubble these are bubbles and should not be confused with the pathology they are outside the gallbladder point here to make you aware of is <coughs> that this is the fundus of the gallbladder. We can see a small amount of uh, bile within the gallbladder. However, the most important thing is that this anterior wall is muffled with that of the liver parenchyma. This anterior wall is muffled. Now whenever you see a muffled gallbladder wall, always mention this because this uh, may be uh, pre-aggressive pathology sort of a issue for the patient in the long run. Secondly, this patient is with fast, with overnight fast, and the gallbladder is not distended as it is in normal cases. So, this is a case of chronic cholecystitis with cholecystolithi as is and with muffled interior wall. You can see that the anterior wall is not seen in total. It's muffled from here to here. And there are these are the calculi. This is the fundus of the gallbladder. So gallbladder not contracted, no, sorry, not dilated, is contracted after overnight fast one second. Its anterior wall is muffled. Third, it contains many calculi, small to large in it. Passage at you. Now patient in the lateral decubitus posture. I place the probe and ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. It lumbas are like a saro jina zone. This is because we should always go to the neck of the GB and this is an ideal uh, mm -hmm. plan for that. Lumbasasar, Roko, and here again, if you see that the anterior wall is yeah, uh, plastic, by scanning from this plan and asking the patient to take a deep breath and hold it, we got this view 
and in this view we can see the anterior wall in total. So the anterior wall is present, the demarcation between the liver and the anterior wall is present. This is the difference of scanning in different plans. If we just plan in one uh, scan in one plane and decide, then you may make a mistake. So now your refinings will be different. So this is the case of, now I can say that this is the case of chronic cholecystitis with cholecystolithiasis.